and I'm very excited. Um, I work with several of our communities throughout Kansas and Missouri. Um, we actually have 17, almost 18 locations. We're breaking ground in Colorado soon um, for a Presbyterian Manor um, in Colorado Springs. So it's very exciting. Wow. Um, so I work with a lot of locations and I work with um, different marketing directors at Crystal. Um, and we just kind of help the communities and try to find wonderful residents to join us and also provide presentations like I'm going to give today. Um, I am not an expert on tablets and smartphones, iPhones or Android devices, but I call myself an enthusiast because <laughs> from day one I had the little Nokia well, actually, let's back that up to high school. I had a phone that was in a bag. It had Velcro on it, and you opened it up in your car, mm -hmm. and you plugged it into the cigarette lighter. Yeah. yeah. So, well, I have been on those things, and I this thing, I, I kind of joke that in my family picture, my husband and my two kids, and then there's my phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the other family oh, member. <laughs> it's part of the family. I'm on it. And then Google is like a stepchild. So oh, if you yeah. look at Google, I'm on that all the time. Um, so I'm going to talk about kind of some basics of navigating a smartphone or a tablet today. Um, and then the format will be about 30 minutes or so of a presentation. And then we've got the presentation printed out for you so you can follow along and circle and star and make notes. And then after the presentation, we'll open it up for your individual questions. And we have some great volunteers here today. So hi, everyone. Um, once I'm finished with the presentation, we will come around and help you individually because everyone's going to have a different question and it might not apply to you what applies to you. So we're hoping to help you there. So as I go through the slides here, um, kind of make notes and circles of something that you want to come back to so you don't forget it, make a star, and we'll try our best to get um, all of those answered today. So there's a few ground rules before we start. And the first one is the irony, because technology can be really hard sometimes. Was this morning. Like this morning. Like, <laughs> so I'm the presenter today, and I couldn't get the presentation on to the TV. So there's my phone going off in the middle. <laughs> um, also, there are no crazy questions. So don't be afraid to ask. Um, if you think that it might be too simple of a question, and you might feel like you should already know the answer, you don't. How many of you went to the cell phone store, bought a cell phone, and came back with a big user's manual? No. <laughs> you know why? Because all the user manual stuff is online. So how, <laughs> so how do you get online? Yeah. Exactly. So let's back it up a little bit, and that's why we're here to help you, so we can figure this out. Um, and know that it's okay to make mistakes. Um, you're probably not going to break your device unless you drop it, or if you get it wet. Um, if you're just poking around on things, you're probably not going to break it. I want to encourage you to be adventurous when you're exploring your phones and your tablets and learning to click on things. Um, I will tell you though, and this is kind of a personal thing, don't ever put your phone in your back pocket. <laughs> because when you sit down, you might break it, or when you go to the restroom and pull down, you could drop it in the toilet. And get oh no. So you don't want to do that. Um, also dial people accidentally. Yes, they call it a butt dial. <laughs> That's not officially on the presentation, but it is a thing. So what is a smartphone? What is, it, what is a smartphone? How is it different from that bag phone, the, the Velcro phone that I opened up with the cord and plugged into my cigarette lighter? So why is it different than the phones that we had 10 years ago or even the <coughs> The Craig phones, the first phones. Oh. Does anyone remember those? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the, you had the Craig? It two longs and a short. <laughs> <laughs> two longs and a short. I, well, I grew up in the day of the rotary, so you had to dial it and then wait till it spun back around. So it's fun. I remember those. Yeah, but a smartphone actually, you know, of course we make voice calls, but a smartphone is like having a computer in your pocket. Um, the smartphone can access the internet so that you can get that help guide on how to use it. Um, you can send emails, you can take photos, um, you can use it as a GPS, um, you can download what they call apps, and apps are all of these fun things that you can put, and useful things that you can put onto your phone. 
Um, so maybe you want something about the news, maybe something to help with managing um, a health issue, maybe something fun that you can't sleep, maybe working a puzzle at night on your phone, mm -hmm. playing Scrabble with your uh, nephew in California. You can do all of that with your smartphone. Um, play music. Gosh, there's lots of things that you can do. Um, this is the basics of manufacturers and operating systems for your smartphones. How many of you know that you have an Apple phone? with you today. An Apple will have like an Apple on the back of it. How many of you have like an Android device? Perfect. Okay. So that's basically what we've kind of narrowed down to are Apple and Android. But there are different manufacturers out there. Um, this is not everybody, but this is some of the more common brands that you see. Of course, the Apple, Sony, Nokia. My first phone back in um, college was a Nokia thing was a tank too. I mean, thing, it was probably, I felt like it was like 10 pounds. You know, you could run over it with your car. You weren't going to break that thing. Um, Samsung, LG. These manufacturers and these types of phones will probably use one of four different operating systems. Um, the two most common today, I think, are the Android and the Apple. That's my own opinion. Would you all agree on that? My, my volunteers. But there are other operating systems. This is the Windows and this is the Blackberry. It sounds overwhelming and confusing. You're like, oh my gosh, she's just thrown a bunch of logos up on the screen and I have no idea what she just said. The good news is they're all very similar. So once you learn one operating system, it takes maybe just a few more um, minutes to figure out how to use the other one. For example, on most of the Apple phones, if you want to get to your control center, this isn't a newer phone, but most of the older phones you scroll up and you'll get to a control center. And then on your Android devices, you'll swipe down and you'll get to a control center. So they're very similar, but they kind of mirror each other in the opposite. Okay, some of the basics of navigating. Um, I've got an iPad here, and I wanted to show you some of the 